Imagine if your smartphone's battery randomly jumped from 20% to 90% to 5% throughout the day. Or if your car's speedometer bounced between 30 and 80 miles per hour while you were trying to maintain 55. You'd call that broken, right? Welcome to Seismic. I'm Matt, and today we're exploring how your body does something far more complex than any machine, maintaining perfect internal balance while everything around you constantly changes. It's called homeostasis, and it's happening in your body right now as you watch this video. Let's discover this amazing biological balancing act. Homeostasis means staying the same, and it's your body's ability to maintain stable internal conditions despite changes in your environment. Think of it like your home's thermostat. No matter if it's freezing or scorching outside, the temperature inside stays comfortable. Your body maintains dozens of factors with narrow ranges. Body temperature around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, blood pH around 7.4, blood sugar between specific levels, and proper water balance. These aren't accidents. They're actively controlled. You can run a marathon, eat a huge meal, sit in a sauna, or jump in a cold pool, and your internal environment stays remarkably stable. This stability is essentially because your cells can only function properly within specific conditions. When internal conditions drift too far from normal, your cells stop working efficiently, and you can get sick or even worse. Homeostasis literally keeps you alive by ensuring your cellular environment stays just right for life processes to continue. Let's see homeostasis in action with body temperature regulation, your internal thermostat. Your body temperature needs to stay around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit because that's the optimal temperature for your enzymes and cellular processes. Your brain's hypothalamus acts like a sophisticated thermostat constantly monitoring your body temperature through specialized sensors throughout your body. When you're too hot, your body activates cooling mechanisms. You start sweating, so your evaporation cools your skin. Blood vessels near your skin dilate to release heat, and you feel motivated to seek shade or maybe even remove clothing. When you're too cold, warming mechanisms kick in. You start shivering to generate heat through muscle contractions. Blood vessels constrict to conserve heat. You get goosebumps, and you feel driven to find warmth or add layers of clothes. This creates a feedback loop. Sensors detect change, the control center processes information, and effectors respond to bring temperature back to normal. Once normal temperature is restored, the response decreases. That's negative feedback maintaining balance. Another amazing example is blood sugar regulation. Whether you just ate a candy bar or ran a mile, your blood glucose levels stay within a narrow healthy range. Your pancreas is a control center here, constantly monitoring blood sugar levels and releasing hormones to maintain balance. When blood sugar rises after eating, the pancreas releases insulin. Insulin tells your cells to absorb glucose from the blood and tells your liver to store excess glucose as glycogen. Blood sugar levels drop back down to normal. When blood sugar drops during exercise or between meals, the pancreas releases glucagon. Glucagon tells your liver to break down stored glycogen and release glucose into the bloodstream. Blood sugar levels rise back to normal. Again, it's a perfect feedback loop. High blood sugar triggers responses that lower it. Low blood sugar triggers responses that raise it. Your body is constantly making these tiny adjustments to keep your blood sugar in a Goldilocks zone, not too high, not too low, but just just right. Most homeostatic processes work through feedback loops, circular processes where the output influences the input. Let's break down how they work. Every feedback loop has three parts. Sensors that detect change, a control center that processes information and makes decisions, and effectors that carry out responses. Negative feedback loops are the most common in the body. They work like a thermostat. When something goes up, the response brings it down. And when something goes down, the response brings it up. This maintains stability. Positive feedback loops are less common but important for specific processes. In positive feedback, the response amplifies the original change. During blood clotting, clotting factors cause more clotting until the wound is sealed. What's really amazing is that multiple body systems work together for homeostasis. Your nervous system detects changes and coordinates responses. Your endocrine system releases hormones for long-term regulation, and your circulatory system transports materials where they're needed. 
Understanding homeostasis helps us understand disease. Many health problems occur when homeostatic mechanisms fail or become overwhelmed. Diabetes occurs when blood sugar homeostasis breaks down. In type 1 diabetes, the pancreas can't produce insulin. In type 2 diabetes, cells become resistant to insulin's effects. Either way, blood sugar regulation fails. When you have a fever, your body temperature set point temporarily increases to help fight infection. Your hypothalamus essentially resets the thermostat to a higher temperature. Heat stroke and hypothermia occur when environmental conditions overwhelm your body's temperature regulation systems. The feedback loops can't maintain normal temperature despite working at maximum capacity. Many medical treatments work by supporting or replacing failed homeostatic mechanisms. Insulin injections replace missing pancreatic function, blood pressure medications help cardiovascular regulation, and IV fluids restore water balance. Right now, your body is simultaneously regulating temperature, blood sugar, blood pressure, pH, oxygen levels, and dozens of other factors through interconnected feedback loops. This incredible coordination happens automatically, 24-7, 365, keeping you alive and healthy. Understanding homeostasis is fundamental to medicine, sports science, and any field dealing with living systems. Whether you become a doctor, nurse, athletic trainer, or researcher, you'll use these concepts every day. Now, don't forget to subscribe and let me know down in the comments what homeostatic process amazes you most. Thanks for exploring your body's incredible balancing act with Seismic. Want to explore more about body systems and biological processes? Check out our complete science curriculum at seismic.com, where every student can learn, grow, and achieve.